You're gonna fry. I'm gonna what? Excuse me, what? There's a ceiling here. Did you know that? You check. <laughs> I love it. Welcome, welcome, welcome back to Detroit. I know you're like, man, it's Sunday. Why, why are you releasing a, a game video on Sunday? And why am I in Detroit on Sunday? I'm, I'm gonna start playing this on Sunday because this is gonna be a longer game. So we're gonna do more episodes of it. Now, <clears throat> we just thrown movie douchebag in a police car to go away because he murdered somebody. The only thing we have left to do is to find Wait, we have to find a stolen car. What are we doing? Yeah, we have to find the stolen vehicle. We never did that. Boom. Now, a couple of things uh, have changed. And I don't know how it's going to work out. Uh, I have a couple of friends who stream a lot. And they say that the, uh, the streamer mode on this actually works. That it actually keeps away copyrighted music. And so... It, we've turned it on. We're going to see if that works. If it doesn't, I'm going to be mad. I'm going to sue it. Then we also got, uh, I don't know how I got the DLC. I just bought the game and gave me the DLC. Uh, to where we now have, if you ever see uh, the, um, the RoboCop, he's actually got the armor from Part 2. And the gun is black now. So he's all dressed up like Part 2. Uh, if there are any fans of the, the movies out there. I, I actually liked how he looked in Part 2 better. Okay, so stolen car time. Is anybody breaking the bitch? Because if you are, I'm going to break you over the head. Are you breaking the bitch? No, you're just standing there for no damn reason. They're not even talking. They're just, they're meditating. D this Detroit street meditation happened all the time. Hello! Yeah, they're standing there too. Yeah, see one of those broken phones? They, yeah. Alright. Detroit street meditation over Shh, here. Pigs. Mind your own business, cop. I want to take part in the Detroit street meditation, bitch! Well, maybe they don't want me. Okay. I'm out. I'm not going to go anywhere where I'm not accepted. Oh, what's this? Well, um, stolen wallet in the garbage. I did have somebody remind me, um, because I think I've, I found a stolen wallet in the, the last episode. Oh, who's there? Oh, it's only you. Who? What? Uh, and I was like, well, why would it be in the garbage? And somebody said, well, generally, when you steal a wallet, you steal it. You take everything valuable out of it, and then you throw it away. And I'm like, damn you for being right. Okay. Oh, we're going up here in the back. In the, ooh. Okay. Stolen vehicle, huh? All right. I'm going in. We're going in. Find Scott's, well, I, I, okay. Scott, Scott is the, oh yes. Ooh, what is this? Uh, okay, hey, yo kid. Boss was not impressed with what you did with that SUX, but he's a reasonable guy and will let you keep your nimble fingers as long as you show up to the chop shop before nightfall. Scott's the kid who actually gets in trouble now and then and it looks like he stole a car. I think he's a good kid, but I think he needs spanked in the butt. A lot of younger kids now. They need spanked. Honestly, they, they don't need people being mean to them. They need to be set over a knee and spanked for a little while until they go, oh, maybe I won't do that again. Yeah, maybe, maybe so. Maybe that's what they need. I don't know. Or maybe I'm just old. Probably both. I'm going to say both. I like both. What's in here? Anything? No. Well, damn you. It's the only place. Okay. What? Yeah, I messed up good. Uh, is that you? Scott? Scott? I'm gonna, sp I'm gonna spank you! 
Scott! You must be Scott. See, look at the blue armor! The blue SUX6000 that you stole. Hey, well, why would I have anything to do with that? I have found evidence in Ben's shop. You can't possibly help me. I don't want to cause any more trouble, <sighs> especially for Ben. I think he's a good kid. I really do. Um, okay, the best thing to do is confess. Yeah, I'll pick that. Admitting to a crime is the best course of action for any young offender. True. I can't go to Juvie. Who's going to fix this mess? My duty is to serve the public <clears throat> trust. True. Okay. I and to shoot people. I admit, it was me who jacked the SUX, but he didn't leave me any choice. Who is he? I can't tell you. If he knew I gave him away, he'd take revenge on Ben. Hmm. Oh. God. It must be those thugs. Oh. We're dead. No one is going to save us. Oh, no. If they are criminals, then they are the ones who need saving. Yeah. Oh, no. Who's oh. going to save us? Only Robocop is here. What can he possibly oh, done? Boy. You can only hide for so long. Dude. Oh, goody. Oh, goody. I am so glad to see that. No, you don't. No, no, no. Uh, I refuse to you. Why didn't I open this door before? Oh, yeah, yeah. Did I, did you just say? Where that came from? Yeah, um, there goes your brain. I mean, I don't know if you can keep track of things anymore because you have no head. Did usually we keep track of things with that? Um. Don't let him scare ya. You know that stings. Yeah. That really stings when you do that. I, I I appreciate it if you wouldn't. These small time dudes. I almost feel it's a, it's almost like punching down. It's like shooting down when I shoot them because I want to. Is there even? Oh. <laughs> Is there even anything left? Uh, I mean, I... <laughs> you look. did it! They didn't think that through. Maybe you can put an end to this after all. I am missing vital information in order to resolve this case. I'll tell you what you want. Just please, help me fix this screw-up. Where is the car now? Oh man, I'm sure it's still in their chop shop. It's a warehouse on the northeast side. The entrance is concealed, but I'm sure you'll find it. I'm no fighter, but <clears throat> if there is any other way, I would like to help. Maybe you need some more intel. Maybe I need you to bend over so I can see them cheeks. You ever had a robot dick up your ass? Mmm. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, let's ask him all this. Who did you mean by him? It's Rex, from the local gang. I only did petty jobs for him mostly, but this time he made me steal that car. Uh, I don't he believe said it. he wanted the SUX 6000 we were repairing at Ben's. When I said it was too hot, he slashed me with his knife. Well, why are you hanging around people like that in the first place? Would be my old man question. Why were you hiding? You saw those thugs. They were looking for me. They realized I tricked them. They wanted the SUX 6000 from Ben's shop, but I didn't want to get him into trouble, so I stole a different one. I doubt anyone would have given a shit, but word on the street is that it belongs to the mayor's niece. Yeah, apparently it did. You should have done some other shit. Any criminal matters should be reported to the police. I know. I just thought I could figure this out by myself. Ben was right from the start. I shouldn't have gone down this road. So far, um, everybody that I've talked to who's seen my video so far actually agrees with me on that really the only part that they're going Ew, a little bit with this game is the, the, the face animation. The, when, when they animate with the talking, everybody's like, eh, it's a little odd. Everything else, they're like, yeah, it's a cool game. Just, I don't know. The people who animated the mouths are like, they're from the Saturday morning team or something. They that is all for now. Proceeding to the vehicle's estimated location. You are calling for backup, aren't you? <laughs> Negative. <laughs> Threat calculation minimal. <laughs> yeah. Backup. Are you kidding me? I am the backup. I'm the army and the backup. I'm all of it. What is this? Nine millimeter pistol. It's a weak ass gun. 
What is this? I mean, I have one of those. I'll just refill it. Okay, let's go find this garage. I wonder if there'll be more stupid people in there that want to fire their little pea shooters at me. Oh boy, won't that be fun? I mean, yes, I am here to uphold the bitch. I'm up here to uphold the law on purpose. That's what I do. It's what I'm dedicated to. But boy, isn't it fun when I get to shoot people. I mean, that's the part I really enjoy. It's when somebody doesn't follow the law. And they're like, no, I'm going to shoot at you. Then it's like, okay, time for the fun. I get to splatter your face all Those over. Those people on the first floor are paranoid. They put blinds in the windows. Can't watch the TV no more. <sighs> you know, I had a period where I was really poor. Uh, and what we did to watch TV when I was really poor. <laughs> and I mean really, really poor was uh, we go and we'd um, sit in the hospital. The hospital, I don't know if they do it anymore, but um, the hospital waiting room would have a TV. And it, I was in a small town, so it usually wasn't stuffed. It's was usually just me and my friend would sit in there. We'd sit in there and watch TV all day. That's where I got hooked on soap operas. Kind of think, of, is it, is it, was it worth it? Did I? Probably not. Okay. Anybody breaking the bitch? I'm still looking for people who are breaking the- I'm using robot vision to- Oh! Shady place! Uh, out of the middle of nothing! What's in here? Nothing! My favorite! Well... I guess we're gonna have to go in here... So we're going in! I think we're going in. Hmm. The liney. Auto parts. Okay. Um. Well, what? Oh, hint. Oh, wait a. Oh. Wait a minute. Hold up. Let me scan the stuff. Let me do robot things. Well, something about that don't look right. I mean, unless the person just disappeared halfway through. Okay. Oh! Um. Wait a minute. There's too many things here. Is there anything in here? And is there any break the law stuff in here? What about this? Uh, no. Well, somebody went over here. Oh, okay. All right. Um. Yep. Boop. Oh, good morning. Hi there. Oh, whoa. Hey. Oh, uh, yo, um, they're a little bit more armed in here than I thought they'd be. Okay. No, you gotta, you, are you dead? Good. I need to get over here. All right, anybody else gonna drop down here because I... You really have to plan out, uh, Robocop's movements in this game because he's not fast. He, he's not fast at all. Pistol, 9mm, no. Oh, hey, evidence! You gotta kind of be like, okay, where can I get to? I need cover. Whoa, got another skill point. Good for me. All right. Uh, um, I guess they can't get down without me, like, nutting them up. Like that. No, no, you gotta die. Whoa. See, black pistol. I got the black pistol. Ho, ho, ho. Um... I'm all RoboCop 2 now. What is this? I've never seen that. First of all, heal. Second of all, gimme. A uh, little bit of uh, RoboCop trivia for you. I'm going to try and do this every time uh, because I like RoboCop trivia, and maybe you guys do too. Uh, but um, Peter Weller, the guy who played RoboCop, he actually, uh, dur in the, during the filming of this, uh, uh, both the movies, he lost three pounds per day just from loss of water weight. He literally sweated out three pounds a day in that suit. It's a hell of a weight loss program, you know? But it's, it's true. All right. No! 
Why am I? I am not shooting well today, and it's my own fault. I'm just not hitting people as much as I usually do. I need to hit more people. Like that. Um, alrighty, uh, well. <laughs> no, I'm gonna blow up everything. No, I've noticed very, to, to my great delight. Hey, to do a thing at me. That's against the law. That's against the bitch. It's, it's against the bitch. Don't you know? Um, I heard another one. They're throwing grenades in my face. Where do, where do you get all these things? Where do you get grenades? Ah, in your face. Okay, wait a minute. Whoop. What's in here? Oh, one of those. I'll take it. Um, those are important. Hey. Hey. I did not give you permission. You are breaking the bitch. Ow. Damn it. Stop it with the grenades. With the grenades. No. What's this? Oh. Well, I... <laughs> Excuse me while I take a moment from being shot to pick up a stolen handbag. I mean, you know, it's all part of the job, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, oh, I could have used that. I could have blown it up. So many things I could have done, I have regrets. All right, I don't think there's anything else down here. Wait. Oh yeah, same place, okay. All right, let's go upstairs. I mean, there are dudes up here that are just begging to be shot at. And, uh, you know, I'm serving the public trust, so that means they want it, I gotta give it to them, right? Um, you know what? Oh, what is this? Ah! Uh, see the, by the way, I don't know if you noticed, but the, the game is a lot more there's a lot more action in it when it has the music, right? Um, so I'm gonna hope that we don't get in trouble for it. Hi! Hello? I would like to blow you up. Who would like to step forward and volunteer? Anybody? Anybody? Any Buddha? Any Buddha? Oh, really? Oh, that was dumb. I got him, though! Oh, you blues. Ha, 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 Okay. All right. Um, yeah, I gotta... I, I have to... I'm noticing something about the game. Mm, small little thing that I don't like is that when you're standing someplace and there's nothing in your view, you can throw something, but if there's something to the side of your view, sometimes it'll hit that. I, I think that's bad. I think that when you develop a game, if you're if you can see the thing that you're throwing to, it shouldn't hit some crap over here. My opinion only. All right. Let's see what we got. We got some nuke. Very legal. Oh no. I haven't had a chance to. Uh, there'd be no way, by the way, to get a level six in anything yet. We're still early in this game. Maybe there's a thing where you can play through it later with all your stuff. Oh yeah, I need level... By the way, vitality, I want to get... That's something I want to work on. Um, okay, well here I am. Wait, what? Hey, there it is! We found it! All right, we found it. I see. Yeah, I don't need to. Okay. Return to the streets. Really? That's all I needed to do? Well, I'm not going to complain. I mean, I got to shoot up a bunch of... A bunch of scum. A bunch of criminals. A bunch of filthy assholes. I don't think... <laughs> now that I think about it, um... I don't think RoboCop ever cursed. I don't think he ever did. He called them scumbags a lot of times. 
Um, but I don't think he actually ever cursed. Huh. Well, I mean, that's the thing with AI. AI doesn't curse much. We gotta teach it. That's the first thing, I mean, people are out there, well, AI is dangerous. The first thing we have to do is teach AI how, how to curse. We have to teach how to do that. Yeah, see, then, then we won't even know anymore whether it's human or AI. It's, that passes the Turing test right there. Okay, are we I done? I can't believe you've actually done it. Do you think I could take that car back to the owner and say I'm sorry? Maybe she won't press charges. This car is now in police custody. Oh, please, I could really use a helping hand right now. Otherwise, I'm back in juvie. <sighs> I... The kid is sorry enough. He wants to make up for it. I can't send him to prison. Proceeding to secure the perimeter. Keys are in the ignition. Thank you so much. I promise I won't mess <clears> this up. I hope you don't. See... In the game, I, I'm going to assume. In the game, it's going to be like, yeah, you know what? I don't think he will. I think he'll be okay. I'm going to have faith in this kid. If this was real life, that kid would get in that car and drive the fuck off with it. No question. I mean, that's why games are awesome anymore. Because it can give you hope. Hope that you don't have for things in real life, you know? Because, yeah, if this was real life, that kid, <laughs> he'd have stolen it again. He'd have just sold it faster next time. All right, now... We have to go. This is the main mission. Unless something pops up and gives us another one. Which... I don't know, it could happen. Anybody breaking the bitch? Are you breaking the bitch? Better not be breaking the bitch. Nobody break the bitch. I'll come get you. I'll give you a ticket. And if you pull a gun on me, then I will shoot you in the brain. It is all in my programming. Ah! Um, okay. Uh, everything. I mean, I know that there's somewhere out here, there's another crime or a ticket that I have to write somewhere. But I don't know. Let me see. Police work. Yeah. Y yeah. I don't know if I'm going to. Those ones that it says um, issue tickets and find all the stolen stuff. I don't know if I'm going to complete those all because that's hard. I mean, this is a big area and I got to search through the whole thing hoping I'll find all the stolen crap, which I probably won't be able to do all the time, but I'm going to try. I'm just going to run over there and do it. Actually, I'm a little bit... Oh, wait a minute. We already did this. I was... Okay. I thought that the police was going to stop me and make me do another thing. Hang on a second. Serve and protect, right? Signs of law breaking. Okay, is there any way... Does this track? It doesn't. There's nothing on the, um... See, there's street violations 5 of 6. So there's one more somewhere. I don't know where it is. And it... it there's nothing on the... Radar that tells you where it is, so I don't know, it's... I may not find it. But I'm gonna go towards our last... ...thing here. And I'm gonna be curious, I wonder if, um... Do things change? I've been up here, <laughs> I think, I think I've been up here. Was this where my dude was? I mean, I, I... I I can't believe how funny that was. Yep, that's him. I wonder if he'll say it again. Nope. Only get it once! That was so funny. Oh my god. I, I was... <laughs> and it wasn't just a once either, because remember, I, I, I'm a one-man dude. I'm a one-man band here. So I edit everything as well, and when I went over it, when I edited it, I spent another five minutes laughing at it. Just too funny. And which is a really odd experience, by the way, because I'm sitting there laughing my ass off while it's playing back and editing, so there's two of me laughing our asses off at the same time. Must have been a weird night if anybody was on a fly on the wall. Is there? All right, well. So we're just asking about Scott's whereabouts. Is this going to start, like, the whole end of the thing, or am I going to have to go... 
into a. I'm probably gonna have to do a million things to find the guy. Oh, crap! <laughs> Give me back my money, you piece of shit! Don't you cops ever get bored with harassing successful entrepreneurs? Hey! This shit is rigged! That's a serious accusation, kiddo. Someone might think I would allow such illegal activity in my high class business, which I do not. I get lost. I don't like him. You work for Soot. <clears throat> Tell me where to find him. You cops are giving me a stomach ulcer. Stop asking me about guys I don't know. Withholding information can lead to bigger trouble than a stomach <laughs> ulcer. Nice. Look, I'm a busy man, so I'm going back to my office now. Why don't you join me there, and we'll talk. Oh, on second thought, you can't do that. Because you don't have a warrant, do you? Do I need one? I mean, I could kick your ass without one. Of course, that would be illegal, and I'm programmed not to do that, so I, I don't guess I can. What a douchebag. Huh. Ah. I could stay here the whole- Look at this! An Arcadio! I- oh, I, I mean, it's- It's a bit dirty. But it is still an arcade. Man, I spent so much time. I know there's a lot of younger people out there that never got to see the arcade days. You probably would have been hanging out with me. Best places ever. Ugh, I miss them. These games actually look real, too. I mean, they're not. Super Void. Yeah, see, they're not actual, but they sound real, they look real. Very good work. Huh. Okay. What do I- I'm gonna talk to this guy first. Because he's here. Have you witnessed the owner participating in any criminal activity? Are you kidding me? Half the things I've seen around here would be enough to put him behind bars for a decade. Let us hear your statement. No way, dude. He might be a douchebag, but if you lock him up, this place will get closed down, and where am I supposed to play hooky then? Smart kid, um... Do think of your future, young man. School may seem now like a difficult option, but it will pay off in the future. <laughs> future? Look on the street. You must have a microwave for a brain if you think that. Now, well, if you go to school, then you might be able to get a job and get enough money to actually get the hell out of here, dumbass! I can't say that, I'm not programmed to. Okay, what's this guy? What are you doing? Oh, I'm just gotta, I gotta study him. Uh, scan results. Bloodshot eyes caused by sleep deprivation. Poor kid. Go home, get some rest. Let's see what we got around here. Other than a lot of games. Man, this place is big. This is a big arcade. What? Oh, what is this? Uh, syringe with traces of hinge lubricant. Ah, I thought I had him. I got to get something that will. Oh, those were fun. Uh, I got to get uh, something that I could to where I can get a warrant on him. That way I can bust in there and shoot him in the face. Oh, I didn't know you had such amazing colors. And there's not one, but two of you. From now on, I promise. I will cherish you more often. Who? You're nuts or on drugs. Psycho, okay, he's on drugs. There we Your go. Your body readings suggest substance misuse. Oh man, a real like TJ laser? You are so incredibly shiny. I'm definitely getting more of this stuff. <laughs> Who sold you drugs? I really shouldn't say, but you are my TV hero, so. All right, all right. Uh, all of the arcade staff will sell to you, as long as you got cash. Unfortunately, I'm broke, but I have a great idea. You, you could help me sneak into the basement. They keep a huge stash of goodies down there. Drugs in the basement? I will take care of that. Is that enough to get a- Did you really do that for me? Way to go, TJ! Is that enough to have a warrant? Okay, search warrant granted. Right then. Uh, so now... Is that the ocean? 
<laughs> I, can't, I, can't, I can't have these. these uh, they're so funny, they're gonna screw me up. I'm gonna forget what I'm doing. Um. <laughs> Honestly, that doesn't sound like a drug. That just sounds like he's really, really drunk. <laughs> it's at the ocean, dude. Um. Oh, what do we have? What are you? Uh, soot, my business partner. There we go. Okay. Recently, your men started to act, shall we say, unusually. They're questioning each other about what it is to be a true torch head. Like they're looking for a snitch, but there can't be one in such a thoughtfully managed criminal enterprise as yours. They're probably wondering why no cop came knocking after your live show, which, by the way, was truly great TV. They should know uh, that the cops are afraid of you. Uh, sure, we are. Well, I'm not, but I don't know. Jostling amongst yourself is bad for business. Maybe you should have a word with them. Just to keep those productivity juices flowing. Your humble partner. I think that's probably the same guy. See, they got booze back here. I mean, that's not necessarily illegal as long as you're selling it to adults, but... Can I just go in there now? Wait, I never... Hang on. Let me look around. I don't want to miss nothing. Uh, I didn't look in here. What's in here? Oh, hey! Let's scan you. Uh, slouching detected irrelevant to case. Slouching? Why would you even notice that? What's this? Uh, gastric content. Oh, somebody puked! Makes sense. I don't imagine they have a... A very good janitor around here. They probably don't even clean the place up at all. I, I, I just imagine, I imagine this place really stank. I imagine it has some smell to it. And it ain't good. It does not smell like the, the to like the roses of the hills. It does not smell that way. Probably smells like somebody, Open somebody vomited on a I holocaust. Oopsie, I think I dropped my key somewhere. You'd have to break down this hardened door if you want to get in. That will not be a problem. I think I can... Oh! <laughs> you asked for it! I mean, come on, you did. Are you dead? Did I kill? I don't know. Does it matter at this point? Oh. Um. Are you gonna give up? <laughs> it's Robocop! Surrender your weapons. Hey. Oh, oh well, hey, they ain't gonna give up. Oh, the fun part! Hi! Good morning! Hello! Wait! Okay, hold up, hold up. No, no, you're, you're, okay, you're getting in my business. Okay. I think he's dead. I think I think we did it. Were you standing back there the whole time? Did you not see what I just did this guy? I like unloaded like magazines of shit on him and you're like, I'm gonna shoot at him. You're dumb. All these people, I don't know. I mean, I imagine that people in the future are going to continue to get dumber, but I don't know if they're ever gonna get this dumb. I don't know, maybe they, maybe they will. Oh, hey, all right. Uh. I'm gonna chair somebody. Have you ever been chaired? It's it's very pleasant. You'll love it. Chair. Gunned. Gunned. Whoa, big it, boog it. All right. You know what? Bonk. That way. Okay. I specifically had to do that for a, a patron of mine asked for it. Um, Happy Jack. He actually got this game. He's playing it along with me. Um, but he said, he actually gave me a, this brilliant idea. He's like, you know, I saw you grab that guy. Have you ever grabbed a guy and just thrown him against the ceiling? I was like, no, nope, hadn't thought of that. I'm going to come back in here in a second. But first, I want to grab a guy and throw him to the ceiling. Oops, no, not that. All right, come here. We got to do an experiment. <laughs> 
<laughs> Thank you for the suggestion, Happy Jack. I'm gonna have to do that from now on just because that's too much fun. Just smack him into the ceiling. <laughs> All right, what is this? Tell the buyers to stop using made up names for nuke. None of this double cheese, anti end hot sauce, body bags, and red fucking whatever. Uh, it only makes my guys confused, and that's bad for business. Pigs can't do shit, so there's no need to speak in code. These dope heads either buy nuke or jack it all, or jack all. All right. So people are calling it weird names, but you know what? Give me this. I know there's more crap in here because I saw a bunch of it. I get, did I get it? What did I get? It played a noise like I it played a reward you noise. What did what did I get? I got pride. I got pride for busting that guy's skull upside the seat. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Oh man. Okay. I gotta do that more. I mean, I just I can I, I need to remember because it is hard when when you're shooting people, you're kind of getting off on that. You're like, hell yeah, shoot everybody. But when you can grab people and throw them, I really should be doing that more often because oh the fun. Uh should I use my own wait. Let me flip over. Ah, oh, I got this. Okay, wait. That's what I was going here for. Oh. Okay. Well, we're done with that. All right. Let me figure out what we're doing here. I mean, we that was fun. And uh, Robocop was right. He, they weren't really that threatening. I can see this game getting harder. Uh, Because right now, it's fun but it's fun in a not very challenging way, and I'm sure that they will make this game harder. We're gonna see what they do. Hello? Excuse me, open the door. Open the door, or see? you will regret it. I'll bust it. Can a guy just sell drugs to kids without you harassing him every five minutes? <laughs> who, who am I hurting, huh? They all want it. True. Where do I find soot? Well, if that's the <clears> case, <throat> Shut it, bozo! Unless you want to end up in the ghost house like that cop's informant! And don't you dare open that door, I'll shoot you! Um... Let's see what we can do with this clue. There's a traitor in your midst. One of you is not a real Torchhead, but just an imitator. I knew there was something off about you! Me? It's you! I always suspected you never went through initiation! Take that back! Or what? Shit, you hot-headed bastards! For fuck's sake, don't shoot! I'm gonna open the door! Is there anybody in there I even need to shoot now? Tell me, where can I find soot? Straight to business, huh? Looks like you're my type of guy. But even if I wanted to help you, I can't. Only his closest people know his whereabouts. I just distribute his stuff, and to be completely honest, I don't want or need to know more than when the next shipment is coming. You must know the location they mentioned. Tell me where they took the police informant. And if I tell you, what's in it for me? Um... Do I need to be nice to- I don't think I need to be nice to this guy. He's selling drugs to kids, right? He's not- it's not like he just screwed up once or it's a little thing. Dude, I will make you. Oh, did you see what I did to that guy in the ceiling? Interrogation sequence initiated. Yeah! You can't do it! I'm a respectable citizen, and I have complex health conditions! I'm about to make him worse. Okay, fine. I'll <laughs> talk. They've taken him to the ghost house. It's what they call one of their sites. <clears throat> From what I've gathered, it's that big burned down building a bit down the road. Anyway, that's all I know. That will have to suffice for now. <laughs> Unfortunately, I wanted to beat him a little bit. I wanted to just just wish him just a little bit. Oh wow, you okay. Well, I mean, I'm glad you're doing that. I'm going to pick this up. I'm going to go and um Okay. I I What's Oh. Let me see this. Ah. Uh, I I don't know. I don't know if I need that. I mean, I know there's deduction, you can open safes, or you could read certain things. I don't know if I'm... 
I don't know if it's valuable enough. I, I'm actually thinking staying alive is going to be more valuable to me. $62 desk button, $2340 armored gate, $580 installation total. Thank you for choosing security innovations. A desk button? A desk button? A button on your desk? What is this? Is that a button on your desk? It is! Something opened. What opened? What happened? Tell me what happened, I'll beat you in the head. I'll take one of these dudes and slap you upside the head with another dude. Okay, maybe I won't. What did that open? Stay here. Dispatch. Requesting a squad car. Wait a minute, let me... What? Okay, something opened. And I don't know what opened, but something did. And I need, because it may maybe stuff. Maybe stuff that I need. Um, this must have opened, because I would have gotten this before. I would have found this crap. So, oh yeah. Give me all this crap. Mm-hmm. Four skill points available. Awesome. I'm gonna, man, I can't wait till I update. I'm gonna update uh, Vitality and Armor. Th that's the first ones I'm gonna get. I don't know if this is a game where by the end of it, will it give you enough points to upgrade everything or do you have to pick and shoot? You never know. Uh, all right, I guess, I guess I can go, right? Can I go? Are we good with going? Am I going to meet any bad guys on the way out? Um... No, I don't think so. God, this really sounds like an arcade. Man. I miss them. Miss the, I, I, I miss this whole experience. I miss arcades. Just going there in the middle of the night in Detroit, taking drugs, and then shooting people. Man, those were the days. All right. That's what you get! All right. Now I gotta find... Le Ghost House. Uh, well, I mean, I don't have to find it. I know where it is, because it's on my screen. But I'm also looking for people who are breaking the bitch! That last dude broke the bitch, and he's going to jail. When you, when you break the bitch in my town, you're going to jail. You just will. If I find you, that's the thing is I gotta find you. If I don't find you, then, you know, you had some luck. Hmm. Notice how I always take, like, a roundabout way to the next thing? Because I'm looking for... I want to get that last... That last ticket. I at least want to get it. There's only one more left. It's gonna bother me if I can't... What are you doing? The Hello. Shoes I found in the dumpster behind the mega store. I got 15 bucks for them. Shh, quiet. Unless you want to lose them. Huh? Lose what? Okay. Uh, oh, um. Oh, yeah, here's our dude, our uh, mechanic dude. We like him. He's cool. Uh, okay. So what do we got going on back here, I guess? Alright. So I guess this place is back here. Ugh. There are places like this, by the way, when you're in Detroit. Like this. This is not an uncommon scene. Like, just under a bridge, bunch of crap, dudes standing around, you know, it's... It's not made up. You can find this. You can find that dude. His name's Justin. You find that cat. That cat is, uh... Cat's name Tibbets. Yeah, where are you at, Tibbets? Um, can I shoot it? I don't think I can. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What is this? What is this mess back here? I mean, okay, there's where I gotta go, but... 
Why is this all back here? Uh. Oh. Okay. Drinking in public. Public drinking is against the law. Public? But this is my private sofa. I've dragged it all the way from the junkyard. <sighs> um, you know, it is public drinking. He is right about that. But if you're wandering around where a bunch of homeless people are, then you're going to expect this kind of, I don't know. I'm going to. I will let you go this time, but remember that drinking in an unsuitable environment can lead to severe consequences. Well, that's the whole point. <laughs> yeah. Okay, um... Oh, did I finish the bullshit? I did, it's not there anymore! Yay! I Oh, wow. Oh, now that puts the pressure on me because if they do that anymore, I'm gonna have to try and do it every time now. So I got all of it. Yeah, I am the best Bobo cop. There's no better Bobo cop than me. I even throw people against the ceiling. And I don't even do it for any particular reason other than it's fucking hilarious. I mean, what better Bobo cop? All right, let's go in here. Hello? Okay. Find the police informant. I, uh... Yeah, see, now this this looks more like Detroit. Um, I have a feeling that I'm going to have to shoot a bunch of people. Oh, no! Oh, shit! It's that metal friend! It's that metal devil! You need to be taught some man. Well, that's not teaching him anything. That's just killing him. But that's fine, too. Watch out! He's coming! Really? Did you just... You know what? Whee! Oh, there he fell down finally. Whoa, hold up. Wait a minute. What the hell is that? There's something over there that's kicking my ass. Oh, I shot the grenade. Awesome. Now, wait a minute. What? What was? What was it? Where was? Where was it? That. Dude's got some serious arms up there. Ow. Oh. He's got an implanted machine gun. Well, I knew. I knew that eventually... I, I shot the barrel first because I thought it was an explodey barrel, but it ain't. Um, yeah, we're going to have to start looking out for, uh, like, nasty-ass machine guns. Okay, what is this? Oh, I don't want... Okay. See, I, I forgot... I forgot where I came from. Uh, okay, that's where I came from. Cause yeah, that 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 thing threw me off. I was like, oh, I get out of the way, and then I forgot where the hell I was. Do I go up here? I could go up there. Why don't I go up here? Wait, no, I can't. I can't jump in this game. You know, you would think that I would be able to jump. I mean, I can I can throw a car. You'd think that I'd have enough power to be able to jump. But no! You're gonna I'm gonna what? Excuse me, what? There's a ceiling here, did you know that? You check! Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Happy Jack has made my day. Let's see here. Anything? No? Okay. Uh, you're gonna die. Don't do nothing. Just give up. You didn't give up. You're supposed to give up. Alright. Um, yeah, I mean... Oh. 
See, I wish, uh... I wish I'd known that, uh... Damn you! You know what? You get a ceiling just for that. God damn it, you with your grenades. Eat it! Okay. We got stuff, right? Oh, nuke in the pizza box. Man! Pizza's more valuable than that. Here it is. Oh, can I just grab this? Now y'all are in real trouble. Y'all are in real trouble now. Oh, dude. You have no idea. You are gonna wish that I'd slapped you, bent you over, and fucked you sideways than what I'm about to do to you. You have no idea. Well, that is if I can find where I'm supposed to go. I can't go, okay, I mean... Oh, wait. Oh, it's up here. Okay. Oh, it's just ugly. Oh, it's ugly. I like it. Oh. Yeah, there's a lot of wine up here. Hello? You don't want to mess with me today. You really don't. I mean, I've discovered the ceiling trick. That's unpleasant enough. And I've got a machine gun. Nice apartment. Hate to have to wreck it. Yes. Bitches! Why can't I hit these dudes? Wait. wait. That was weird. Oh, I only get so much ammo, I can't reload it. Wait! Did you... What? Where? Where? Are you up? Okay, am I... Oh, there you are. <laughs> okay, I can't open that. I already know that. Doesn't matter. I don't need whatever's in there anyway. Mm, okay. Well, I believe I have just screwed up this whole place. Uh, hint program. Oh, Robocop doesn't take fall damage. I'm glad you said that. We're going down here. All right. Who's next? Oh, shit. G -G okay, wait. Let me... Nothing? Okay. Anything in here? No? Okay. I, I need- I need to kill somebody! Wait, where did you go? I just saw you! Am I hallucinating motherfuckers again? Maybe? I don't know. Oh. <sighs> there we go! Oh god! Another one of you! Whoa. Okay, we have a problem, and it's another one of those damn machine guns. And I... No, don't do that. Okay. Let me just bust through here. In the face! Alright, maybe I can, like, flank that... Fuck. Come here. No, no, no. You're tough. God damn it. God damn it. All these grenades. I hit you. Where are you? You're not really hidden, you know. No. I do wish that. There it is. There's this thing. See, that's what I was getting shot with. I don't like those. Decided I don't like the machine guns firing at my face. Something I just, um... I'd rather not have, thank you very much. Now, hang on, let me... Let me go back through here. Because there's stuff in here, right? I mean, I think. I don't know. Um... Any... Oh man, I thought surely there would be... Okay... I guess that's supposed to happen if I... Yeah. 
I plowed through there instead of going through that wall. I like to know, it's really good to know though that they, they leave alternate, like, ways you can go. You can, like, go just straight to them or you can flank them and go around the side. That's pretty cool. I don't think there's anything in here. Well, there was, there's a machine gun in there. That's good. Because now I'm going to machine gun your bitch breaking ass. And that's going to be lots of fun for me. It won't be much fun for you. Um. Wait, what are we doing here? This is where this leads, right? Unless I missed something. I mean, okay, here we are. Oh, I did miss something. I missed where I was supposed to go. That's what I missed. Excuse me. Hello. Are you the police informant? Do you know where I can find Soot? Uh, oh, man, all great questions. But uh, could you untie me first? They really outdid themselves with these knots. Huh. Talk. Hey, I, I don't know how you usually operate, but that type of information don't come free. You are the police informant. Let's see. It's your civic duty. <laughs> Exactly how much is your freedom worth to you? What is your freedom worth to you? <laughs> <laughs> That's actually a great point. I, I thought, I thought so, so too. It seems that the new guy saw the punks attack on the TV station and decided to meet with Soot on their turf. The meeting is supposed to take place tonight during Soot's concert. Oh. Concert? I know. I'm not really a fan of his music myself, but that's not what those shows are really about. Why don't we, uh, get out of here, huh? All right. Yes. Soot is meeting the new guy tonight at the old slaughterhouse. Copy that. Pick me up at the station. I'll grab my gear. By the way, I've got something for you, Murphy. Huh? They call me Pickles. Eh, and you guessed it. There's a funny story behind that name. I didn't care. It's one time I saw Torchhead stealing a delivery truck. Oh. After them hoping that a VCR would fall off the back of the truck, you know? But it turned out to be groceries, so they left it. I made a pretty penny that day selling pickles. Still have a couple of jars laying around if you want them. So you are an opportunist. Hey, I prefer street entrepreneur. You know what they say. This is what this is up here for. This is where you find it. Okay, now we can get out. I just, I got a little ahead of myself early. Alright. Alright, I guess we gotta... We gotta head back here, right? And I didn't know, and I guess we have a police informant now. I mean, I don't know if he's gonna... I don't know if he's gonna stick around in the story or not, but... Helpful. Very helpful. Let's see, uh, do I just... What do I do? Do I go back to my car? Ah, it's nice to be free again. Thanks, Tin Man. Hey, uh, did Briggs tip you off that I might be here? Officer Briggs? Yeah, he's my police go-to guy. Officer Briggs is missing. This is true. Missing? Shit. May our city have mercy on you. <laughs> Not gonna happen. Um, yeah, how do you know Briggs? How do you know Officer Briggs? Ah, uh, we go back a long way. He gave me a helping hand when I hit rock bottom. And I've been in his debt ever since. He even introduced me to his family. Great kid and wife, though. His missus don't seem very fond of me. <laughs> well, I can't really blame her. You seem proficient in undertaking police tasks. Ever thought of making a living out of it? <laughs> oh, no. One thing you should know about me. I love cops, you know, law enforcement, laws, all of that. I think those are great ideas. But so is Nuke. And when huh. I need it, I tend to forget about the other stuff. So, you know what they say. You can only serve one master. Huh. What about Briggs? Do you think Briggs is in trouble? I really don't know. 
Last time I saw him, he was going to check a case of missing bodies. Sounded like a bogus lead, so I didn't press him. Enough. He always tells me to be careful when getting info. But the truth is, I'm not the one running around gangster's paradise dressed in blue. Good point. Need to go. <laughs> Duty awaits. Need uh, about that, to go. I've got a favor to ask. I know that Briggs is missing, but I've got something that belongs to him. He must okay. have misplaced it the last time he visited my crib, and it's kind of weighing me down. What is it? It's his wristwatch. Now, I feel bad holding on to it. Could you please give it back to his family? This is stolen property, and you expect me to return it? Gee, ah. that sounds bad when you say it like that, <laughs> but still, you shouldn't let me hold on to expensive things. That's how I ended up in this situation in the first place. I will make sure they receive it from the repentant thief. Oh. oh boy, you're a tough negotiator. But surely you don't mean now. I gotta chillax after all this. Um, now or later? Do it now. We will proceed with haste. Oh, for God's sakes, man. As you command, Officer Steely. Well, I mean, it has nothing to do with negotiation. I, I could just literally beat that. your skull Over out here. of your head. This is where Briggs lives. Let's get this over with. His watch is burning a hole in my pocket. All right, let's do it. Wait. Anybody breaking the bitch? Okay, no. Let's go. Yeah. Let's let's get this watch back where it's supposed to be. Apartment 21. Oh man, my hands are sweaty. Are you yeah. going into a drug-related withdrawal? Do you require medical assistance? Uh, what? No, I'm just nervous. Me and Gail have a complicated relationship. She She's hates good at reading people, and I'm the type of person that doesn't like to be read. I know that inevitably I'll do something she doesn't approve of. Like steal a watch. Oh. oh. Like steal a watch. Yeah, well, maybe you're a scumbag. Maybe he's one of these scumbags that... Wait a minute. What's all this... Hang on. Why is all this down here? This isn't even the way I'm supposed to go. Why is this here? What? Hang on. Oh. Well, let's breach it anyway. Oh, warrant required. Um. I don't know. Maybe I'll find something. Surely I don't need to be able to read this mat to break in on these guys, right? Because something about this is, I don't know, in code, something. Maybe there's something that I'll, I don't know, maybe there's something in the building I'll find that'll let me bust their door down. Which I hope there is. You know how much I love busting their door down. I love busting their door down, and then I love busting them upside the ceiling. That's just my move now. Bitch. <laughs> Ooh, okay. <laughs> um, okay, what do, what do we got around here? Is there anything? Woo -hoo. I'll shoot your dog. That's, um... That's actually... No, I wouldn't shoot a dog. Dogs are innocent. And, um... I mean, just don't shoot dogs. You don't shoot dogs. It's not... It's just not a thing you do. You know? Uh... Oh. Okay. Let me see, uh... Is there anything down here? This is it. Well, okay. Excuse me, ma'am, Mrs. Briggs, balk at you, Robo Police, balk. Are you here about Mike? Yes, I am sorry to hear about your husband. Mm-hmm. Chomp, chomp. We can always see oh, him no, coming. no, no, no. This junkie is not coming inside. What else are you gonna steal? Huh. Funny you should say that. <laughs> just fuck you, dude. You're gonna have nothing to do with him. I can't stand him. 
I'm sure he has something to do with Mike being missing. I don't know. He doesn't seem like... Are you any closer to finding my husband? We are still looking. Is there anything more that you could tell me about his disappearance? I've already reported what I know, but if you have any more questions, shoot. Sure. I heard that he was looking into reports of bodies going missing. Yeah? An old lady approached him at the precinct and told him a sob story about how she couldn't afford to bury her husband. Can you believe that? Uh. Anyway, when she finally collected enough money and went back to the morgue, only to find that they had lost her husband's body, Mike went to check it out and never came back. That's odd. Where was the last location that he was seen? I remember him telling me that he was leaving his jurisdiction. That that's where the leads were taking him. I tried to convince him not to go. It seemed dangerous, but he felt sorry for that old lady. He went against his own rules and me. He left angry because we'd been arguing. Do you remember the exact location? He never told me, but maybe it's in his files. I gotta throw in a little bit of a weird, I mean, just an observation here. I, forever ago, a long time ago, I used to be a police officer. And she's like, well, it seemed dangerous. I didn't want him to go. It's like, but wait a minute. Wasn't he just going to find out what happened to an old man's body for some, that doesn't seem dangerous to me. I don't know. Apparently it was though. Why do you think that Pickles is involved in your husband's disappearance? My husband's a good man. Sometimes too good for his own sake. He believes in second chances, even if someone doesn't deserve them. Like Pickles. <laughs> that unappreciative asshole constantly gets himself into trouble. I mean, who's always there to get him out? You guessed it. So do the earth, Mike. Pickles has a bad influence on my husband. Hmm. Okay. So I'm kind of getting her now. I'm... At first, I was like, maybe she's just a total, you know, gripety bitch somehow. And but she's not. She's just responsible. She's she seems like she's trying to be a responsible person in a world that's just not responsible at all. So I kind of get her. I understand. I actually understand both of them now. I, and, and by the way, I love the fact that there are characters in this game. That there's a whole story here. I'm, ah, awesome. I think I have everything I need for now. Knowing you're on the case makes me a little less anxious, Robocop. Now I just need to break it down for our son. You hadn't told he him? does not know. <laughs> I didn't know how to tell him. He's a smart kid, and I think he suspects something. Could you maybe tell him to come home? It's getting late, and the streets aren't safe these days. These he days? Dawdles, but having you tell him should <laughs> light a fire in his britches. I will make sure that he returns home, madam. Thank you. He's playing on the basketball court nearby with his friends. Well, so you think. All right, before I leave, I'm gonna steal all your crap. <laughs> Actually, I don't know if um she has anything. Oh, a recommendation letter. Detroit Against Addiction Program. Agreement form, Particip uh, participant named Joshua Pickles Green, age 34, nuke. Uh, reason for referral, Joshua has made some wrong decisions in his life and has been living with the consequences ever since, but he is a man of great spirit with remarkable people skills. I am convinced that he really wants to make a difference, but in order to do so, he needs professional help and someone to believe in him. DAA is a voluntary program, therefore we need participant signature in order to enroll them in it seems like Briggs is just a cop who's trying to do the best for everyone. And I can see where his wife gets the idea that sometimes he's too nice. What's this? Okay. Photo of Briggs' family. Anything else around here? Kind of feel like I'm snooping. And I am. By the way, this, this apartment right here for Detroit, this is nice. All right, this is some nice shit. Where'd my dude go? There you are. Uh, later. That went 
pretty much as expected. <laughs> we are not done. We're not? No, not you yet. You still have that watch, do you not? There is someone who needs to learn what time it is. Is is that a movie quote or something? I'm pretty sure I heard that somewhere. Maybe. Probably. Can I? Is there? N is wait. Hold up. Is there n nothing in here that's going to lead me to a warrant for this? I mean. You would think that if there was some reason to knock down their door, it would be somewhere nearby, right? And it isn't. I don't know, maybe... Maybe something later in the game? I don't know. It, it, unless, of course, I absolutely need that deduction. Unless I need to read the mat. If there's something on the mat that gives me a warrant, which would be weird, I don't know. I really don't know. By the way, I remember you, bitch. Okay. God, this game is so detailed. I, I just, I'm, I'm, every now and then I have to stop and be impressed because just every piece of garbage, everything here, it's just somebody put it here. So this is all a piece of art. It's created world. It's just cool. All right. <coughs> Come on. We gotta save a kid. Well, we don't have to save him. We have to tell him it's time to come home. We must get to the basketball court. That's just around the corner. Yeah, I know. Are we playing? What's that got to do with time? Is it like time to kick my ass? I could have done that You're a long time ago. to remind Gail's son that it is past curfew. Oh, Daniel. Sure. Reminds, yeah, I, I love, love how somebody drew a hat ah, bummer. on the He's crime scene, Chalk. Maybe these guys saw him. Good evening, citizens. <laughs> I need... Need what? Some spare parts? Hey, there's a mechanic up the road. I don't understand. This is, again, I don't understand why anybody is busting his balls. Would you do it? I wouldn't do it. I would be scared to even, if he even got close to me. Man. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna. An yeah, I am. You're not the only ankle breaker on this basketball court. And that's letting you off easy. I've seen him do way worse for less. <laughs> Shit, I, I, I was just messing with you. What do you need? We're looking for a kid. His name's Daniel. He was playing here earlier. Why? Is it past his bedtime? It is. It is. Uh, yeah, see? I saw a couple of kids drawing with chalk they found lying around that crime scene over there. Thank you for the information. Congrats, guys. You just became police informants. It has its perks. You'll love it. Yeah, I don't know. I see a couple of drawings over there. Okay. So let's go and I guess follow the drawings, right? This was drawn not long ago. How do you uh, know? How do you know that? I mean, it's chalk. Oh man, are we really jaywalking? That's a hundred dollar fine. Chalk comes out of the ground. I chalk could be a million years old by the time somebody draws on a wall with it. Okay. What do we got? Hello. Not shoot anybody in here. I don't see nothing. Daniel. Yeah, where's Come Daniel? On, kid. Where are you? Clues. Somewhere around. Oh, oh. What's this? Oil. Shoe print size seven. That's what? gotta be. Ah, his. gotcha. Wait a minute. Anything over here? Okay, no. Well, why? Well, okay, I'm wondering who walked over here. And then dis a fucking peered. Because there's no sign of them walking back. Did they jump in the barrel? Where are ya? This is weird. Okay, wait. What's this? Yeah, I know. What about this? Are y'all in here? Hmm. What about over there? 
No, it is locked. locked. They did not go no. inside. Locked. What about over here? See it? It? I don't know. Somebody went in here. So I guess you have like a scan. Not been thing open, open recently. Yes, it allows me to see things that are not there anymore. Oh, so it's kind of like Nuke. <laughs> they threw out the chalk here. Must have found something more interesting. <coughs> well, let's just move a van, why don't we? Sure. I mean, not a problem, you know. That's what why. What the fuck? That was close. We better hurry. That's why I don't understand why people are constantly busting his balls. Because who? He can move trucks. Um. Do it! Come on, Andy! Oh no! What are you waiting for? Fuck him up! He's laughing at you. How are you not hitting him? What's going on over there? Yo, Daniel. Oh no! It's the cops. I don't want to go to jail for this shit. Is that a gun? Oh, you're in so much trouble, kid. No, it's not. Damn! Whoa. Oh! It's a good thing he's armor plated. What the hell? You're lucky that Tin Man here doesn't have a real heart. He'd have a hole in it right about now. Huh. Sorry, sir. You will be once your dad hears about this. My dad's missing. So he See, can't he knows. tell me nothing. My mom said that he's out on an assignment, but I know the truth. He's not coming back. Why'd you say that? He's always been a stickler for following the rules. I guess that's why he's missing. Cops can't shoot without giving a warning, and someone got the drop on him. Hmm. But that's not gonna happen to me. I'm going to be the one that shoots first. That's why my friends say your friends are knuckleheads. If you listen to them, you're a knucklehead too. See, it's understandable why he'd want to shoot first. Why he's out there practicing? Nice. It's sit down. It's understandable. We need to talk. Those friends of yours, they take the easy way out. You don't want to go down that road. It leads to a dark, lonely place. Do you know? Why your dad is such a stickler for the rules? Cause he's a chump. <laughs> because it's the right thing to do. It's not always easy to do the right thing. It takes strength. And you think my dad has that kind of strength? Are you kidding me? Your father has enough strength for the both of us. He even helped an ungrateful addict that he found in one of these buildings that smelled of rotting garbage, half dead, and covered in vomit. And instead of writing him off, your father opened his home to him because that was the right thing to do. That strength. And you stole his watch. You After all that? There's someone else who could use that kind of support now. Mom. See. Smart kid. You already know what to do. You can start by giving her this. She's looking for it. Uh, okay. Is he going to arrest me? No. It's your first offense. So he'll let you off with a warning. Right? Right. <laughs> it's late. Let's get you home. Well, you tell my mom about the gun? No. She mm. doesn't like me already. Uh, Thanks pardon for the me. help, Tin Man. I'll talk to you later. I like pickles. And I like... First of all, not only do I like pickles... Hey, partner. What's the status on the old slaughterhouse? I had to take care of something. We can go there soon. Sure thing. Pick me up at the station when you're done. Not only do I like pickles... But I like the fact that they're employing story in this game. You would think, and I thought, because, you know, the reviews were like, man, the combat's fun, so much shooting and bloody bleh. I'm like, okay, cool, gory game, that's nice. I, uh, I did not expect that they would have 
so much story, so much depth of character in the story that you can actually see these characters, you can relate to them, you can hope for them. That's that's what good video games do, and we're we're missing that a lot lately. Video games are kind of they're the, the, the quality of video games are starting to die out. I mean, when you go back like 10, 15 years, games were generally better back then than they are now. So I'd love to see this in a video game. Some, they're really trying on this. Uh, all right. Drive to the old slaughterhouse. Now! See, if you, I can't pet the cat. The game is unplayable! Worst game ever! All right. Am I... Wait. Am I done here? Am I done? Am I finished? Search for soot. Well, yeah, I got... Okay. Well, I guess we're getting out of here for now, huh? Okay. Yeah, I suppose I do. I think I've done everything else here. Which would... There was more stuff to do here than I thought. They sent me out doing everything. Man. This is where soot is supposed to be hiding. Can't really call it hiding if you send invitations to the whole city. A bit Rudy forgot about us. <clears throat> At least I will not feel bad crashing his party. Huh? Murphy, I was thinking about what happened to you at the TV station. Maybe you shouldn't... No need for alarm. Becker's chip is keeping my circuits in check. Hmm. You're more than just circuits, Murphy. Underneath all that metal, there's still you. Nah, I doubt it. Alex Murphy is gone. He lost his life. See, even he knows it. And despite that burden, you carry on. You've done more for this city dead than anyone has alive. Hmm. That has to count for something. Uh, I'm gonna shut up now. Just take this little something to remind you of what I've just said. Open it the next time Becker gets under your skin. Also, don't forget you have a partner who's counting on you. All right, so... Concert in an old slaughterhouse? Such final encore, fine suit. it fits those animals. The place looks deserted. Are you sure your junkie friend didn't mix up the venues? He is the type who likes to mix things up. We shall have to see. We're gonna find soot here. Maybe we're gonna bust him up. Maybe we're gonna shoot him. Maybe we're gonna sit down with him and have some nuke. I don't know. But we're gonna do that in the next episode. Let me torture myself here. Where am I gonna find a... Okay, I'm not gonna pick up nothing. Let's find a good spot to torture me. You know what? I can't find anything. Patreon.com slash Griffin. You see the way I wrote it down there? That's me being lazy. That's the lazy editing me just throwing it down there. Guys, if you appreciate hanging out with me and watching my videos, and hey, sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad, but either way, you're like, man, I wish I could help this guy somehow. A few bucks over here, just a few bucks every month, like nothing big, or it could be big if you wanted to. But I go out and I buy, I buy noms. This is why I buy sandwiches. Sandwiches, hot dogs, potatoes, and I eat them, and it keeps me going. I would really appreciate it if you went over there and helped me out. Guys, I'm looking forward to finding soot and, um, I guess beating upside the head. If I can, if I can remember to, I'll throw him against the ceiling. I will try. I'll try my best to remember to do that. Guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me again today. We will meet again in the next emanation. Until then! Ah!